<laughs> hey fishing friend, JC here with Rad Railing Fishing. In this video, a little friendly competition, FG knot versus the SC knot. I uploaded a video the other day of how to tie the SC knot. It is slim, it is strong, and it's easy and fast to tie. So is the FG knot if you use my how to tie an FG knot easy tutorial, right? 20 pound test, brand new braided fishing line, 25 pound test, brand new monofilament leader, you guys. We are gonna do a face off FG knot against the SC knot and a tug of war against these guns to see how these knots hold up against each other. We're gonna do that, you guys, right after this. <music> So each time I touch these knots on the monofilament, you can see I put a little red mark on there. That's always going to be the SC knot. And what we're going to do is we're going to alternate. I'm going to have the SC knot on this side, and then we're going to have it on this side. And we're going to do this experiment four different times to see which one of these knots is going to hold better. So here we go. Hopefully I can do this without cutting my fingers off. Okay, first test, the FG knot broke and the SC knot is still solid. All right, here we go with another round. On the, uh, you can see I've marked the side with red right there where the SC knot is. So let's give her a pull. 20 pound test braid, 25 pound test monofilament. Here we go. Oh my god, they're both holding good. Oh baby, about to cut into my hand here. Dang. Ah. All right, okay. When the results are in. That time it looks like the SC knot gave way. Let's take a look and see if the leader broke on that one. All right guys, so looking at this one, and you got your SC knot here. The braided fishing line snapped off right at the edge of the knot, right there. So it's not the actual knot that broke. The knot still held, was just the braided line busted off right at the top of the knot. And that time the FG knot stayed intact. So two more tests to go. Here we go, number three. SC knot is marked in red. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I'm pulling hard, man. It's digging into my gloves again. Oh, my God. Okay. Ah! Whoo! All right. The SC knot, it held fine. What you're seeing right there. Okay, so what we're seeing here, that is the tag end of the SC knot. So the braided line actually broke right on the edge of the knot. These knots are pretty much equal. The uh, knots are not unraveling and the knots are not breaking. The uh, leader line is breaking or the uh, braided line is breaking, but the knots are holding and keeping intact just fine. Okay, here we go with number four. You can see the SC knot is marked in red there. Give me a, another wrap there. All right, here we go. Oh, I don't want to do this. It hurts. <laughs> These are both really strong knots, man. All right, here we go. Whoa. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look at the result. It snapped at the FG knot that time. All right, guys, so here's the FG knot. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little piece of monofilament right there. You can see how the knot actually, um, when it broke, it came unraveled, right? But just by my observation, I would say that it's the braided line that cut through the monofilament twice now. Let's review what just happened. In all four of those demonstrations, the SC knot stayed tight and completely intact, never unraveled or anything. And the two times that the line broke, it was actually the braided line that broke right in front of the knot. Now, 
what happened with the FG knot? All four times that I did the FG knot, two times it stayed intact, but two times the FG knot came apart. Why did it come apart? Because the FG knot, because of the pressure, it cut through the monofilament leader line. So based on what we just saw, which knot do you think is the strongest? I don't know how to evaluate that, okay? I put them pretty much head to head as being even. I mean, against these guns right here, they both performed outstanding because I had two times the FG knot failed and two times the SC knot did not fail, but the braided line broke. Um, I don't know, guys. What do you think? I want to hear your comments down below. Now, the SC knot, in my opinion, it is easier to tie. The, the one difference is the SC knot has one strand of braid wrap thicker than the FG knot, which is really no big deal because they are both super slim, super strong knots, and they're easy to tie. Thanks for watching this video. Thumbs up or appreciate it. Get out there and go fishing, man. Life is fun. Live it. See ya!